Bad with Money by Gabby Dunn. The imperfect art of getting your financial sheet together. <laughs> so you get an intro, 15 chapters, and a conclusion in this one. This isn't a formal financial, personal financial book. So if you're looking for that type of writing, you know, I don't think you're going to totally get that from this book, but it does have some good points. You are getting personal stories connecting to money and finance. So takeaway, takeaways are points at the end of each chapter. It's kind of like a summary to each chapter. So if you are kind of like skimming it, at least you have the takeaways in it. So it brings in personal stories of own and others that the author has met and tucks info from those sources as well and tends to lean, like to me, it tends to lean heavily on the stories and but that's how a lot of people would likely are likely going to learn is this it's not something that's a possibility it's happened to this person and possibly many others so in this case like you can learn from other people's stories so and like I'm kind of like I've always, I'm kind of always mixed with like the personal stories kind of in books so <laughs> Um, you get topics like paying for post-secondary debt, weddings, unemployment, and so on. Not totally a book to better habits, just a series of lessons with information in it. And it eventually gets to a section that is more information based. So you get stories and then more near the end information so <laughs> so yeah bad with money by Gabby Dunn happy readings